Okay, so this is part 20 of the Not So Berry Challenge Yellow Generation, and it's the last part for the Yellow Generation as well, because Stormy is about to age up into a young adult and uh, move out. So I'm gonna get her to blow out these candles. Uh, Daisy's still in bed. She's gonna miss this, but I mean, that's okay. She's not she's not that attentive anyway <laughs> when it comes to her kids. So I did look at the uh, challenge rules for the Not So Berry Challenge so I know what trait she needs to have. Um, if I can find it. Music lover, where are you? There it is. Um, okay, there we go. She's feeling good. Okay, so I have packed up. I'm like immediately moving out. I have no reason to stay. Um, so I packed up this uh, ruby that belonged to her grandma, Ro. Uh, it's set, I just said it. It's not Rose. It's Ruby. That belonged to her grandma, Ruby. And then this is a dead blue slug that um, her mom collected from Planet 6M. And then I don't know why I kept this bunny sculpture, sculpture that Daisy made. It's not really that important. I don't think it means anything. I'd rather have the dead blue slug be the heirloom because it's more interesting. Um, so the bunny can stay. We don't really need that. Uh, I don't think we need anything else either. Um, anything from her room? Not really. She doesn't have anything. Um, I feel a little sad about leaving the Phineas and Ferb house, I have to say. Just doing a scan here to see if there's anything we need. Uh, Big Yellow is sleeping on his bed. Uh, it was nice to be able to spend a little bit of time with him. And I think we're ready to go. Uh, Thunder is going to come with her. And we're going to move her into her new house. I don't actually know if... Um... Oh wait, i got to empty the, the bank. 52845 I should be able to remember that. Okay, so there we go. Um, yeah, so she is heading to a new world. Um, I like Oasis Springs, it's not that bad, but there's a world that I've been dying to live in in this series. It's Brindleton Bay. It's definitely my favorite by far. Like, I like Willow, Willow Creek? Yeah, Willow Creek. I do like Willow Creek, but uh, it's nothing compared to Brindleton Bay. I just like the animals that are always wandering around. Um, maybe she'll adopt a stray. I feel like that's something she would do. Uh, so, I don't know. She's not going to have the money she needs right away to move into this house. Um, but that's... I'm pretty much okay with that. So, um, also I have to remember for her to go and visit her dad before he dies. Because I am going to be sad if we forget. Uh, Stormy and Thunder. There we go. Great names, I think. <laughs> Those are just great names. Uh, Brendleton Bay. So yeah, the house that she's moving in, uh, she can't quite afford it, I don't think, but that's okay. So I'm just, oh, what did I just do? I screwed up as what? I thought this would be like a quick and easy thing, but clearly it's not. So what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, because I, I also don't want to spoil the house that she's moving into. Um, you might have already seen it when I opened up the world of Brindleton Bay, but anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just going to skip all this part, get her moved into her new house, and then I'll pick up from there. Okay, so here we are in um, <sighs> Stormy's new house, and uh, it's in Brindleton Bay, and it's Jessica's build that we're going to be living in. Um, I did this build... Um, specifically for my friend Jessica because she wanted a sunroom in a house so that's what I did um, and the front door is gone so that's something um, I don't know what happened to the front door it's just gone so I have to put that back clearly we need to get in there somehow um, so what I did is I basically just I did very few um, uh, changes into this house basically um, like everything is pretty much the same I just replace certain things with good the color gray like it's so gray it's maybe even too much gray in some places but that's what we're doing here so the walls are gray yeah and then here I added a bathroom behind the staircase this is not in the original build um, I just add that on because it only had one bathroom and I didn't like what I was using this space for before so I added a bathroom there and then the sunroom, um, I added this uh, gray couch with the purple um, cushions because the next generation is going to be purple, so that's that's a little something for that. And then I put a treadmill in the sunroom. There was I, I rearranged things in here because there was originally like a an easel, but she's never going to use that, so I put a treadmill in. And then upstairs, I just got rid of all the stuff in the both kids' rooms that were originally here, uh, changed some things in the bathroom. I don't know if it's... 
uh, I haven't, it's not player tested yet. Um, it will be, but I don't know if it's usable or not. I did want to add a bathtub, so I did that. And then um, her bedroom. Um, since she's a slob, I added some clutter items. And also because I forgot about the laundry, um, I haven't done that yet either. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, and then the backyard, I actually didn't even touch the backyard. I haven't even looked at it yet, but we will look at it in a second here. I just want to see if I can get some laundry stuff. She's going to drive me nuts with the laundry, but I have to have it. I just have to. I feel like I'm cheating if I don't have it. Like I'm taking the easy way. Uh, I don't know if I can, I don't think this is going to fit. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be, I don't think that's going to work. Um, I'm going to try it, but I really just don't think it's going to work. Um, and then where do I want the washer and dryer is the next question. Uh, not downstairs, I don't think. No, because that makes no sense. Uh, I'll do it upstairs. I just don't know where. Um, nope, not with the stoves. <laughs> You're not going to find it there. Uh, and then I hope they have the color gray. I'm pretty sure they will. Oh, what do you know they do? Uh, I guess I could put it right here. Mm, do I like that? No, not really. Um, but I'm probably going to keep it there. I don't know where else it could go. It could go here. Um, it could go in this corner. Or or it could go nowhere. What just happened? Oh, it could go out by the pool. That's a thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. There, I'll put it up here. That's... That's... I'm satisfied with that. And then she only has $226 left. So that's not very much. Um, this is the backyard. She does have a pool, which is good because she can work on her fitness in the pool. Um, she's got the treadmill and she can go jogging. So all those things combined. Um, and it's really nice here, by the way. She lives right on the, like, the harbor, I guess you could call it. Um, that's, that's the wedding venue where her mom got married. I mean, that didn't work out, but still her parents got married right there. Um, and then, yeah, this is just the rest of the world. I am obsessed. I think it's so so nice. I just, I couldn't ask for anything better, really. <laughs> this is just exactly what I would have wanted. Um, hold on a minute. Is that big yellow? It is big yellow. What's he doing over here? <laughs> He's not even in this right world. Okay, so, um, what do I want to do? What do, how do I start this off? Uh, first of all, she's starving, and she has to go to the bathroom, and she needs a shower. So, no time like the present <laughs> to, uh, test out the bathroom and see if it works. And really test out everything because actually nothing is player tested. I have had nobody move into this house except to take screenshots. And that was really it. Uh, since this yard has, or this house has a backyard, I'm going to lock the front door. Um, you can go, Thunder, or she, I guess, she can go in the backyard. And then uh, let's see if she can sing in the shower. She didn't flush because she's a slob, so big shocker there. Oh, she can use the shower, okay. That's good. We'll put that there. And then uh, I'm going to get her to take some food, or make some food. Uh, she needs to work out at a gym venue, so I'm also going to get her to do that. Um, she's having a microwave dinner for breakfast, too. Don't judge her. Uh, yeah, so we haven't even, like, really even started her, um, her aspirations, so we do need to get to, get to work on that. I really like this house, actually. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I don't know if I really love, like, all this wasted space in the front or the back, but I guess there's no grass back there for Thunder either, but she'll have to just deal. And I don't think there's a fence either. No, there isn't. What's the point, I have to say, what's the point of me fencing this backyard in if the deck isn't fenced in? I just forget to do that all the time. I don't think she can afford it yet either, though, so I'm going to do that later. Let's see, let's see what you're having. Let's take a look here. Um, it looks gross. Yeah, no, I'm not feeling that. That doesn't look very good. And then when she's done eating, she needs to fill up this thing for Thunder. What? You, what's happening? She's supposed to be eating. I, I understand that dogs are a distraction. I feel the same way, but please just eat. Oh, and I need to get her. <laughs> I need to get her um, hired in the athletic career as well. Join a career. She has so much to do, it's not even funny. Um, I feel like I need to recap on her stuff. Okay, so she needs to master singing, parenting, and athletic, 
Master athlete career, complete bodybuilder aspiration, have three failed relationships, marry a neat sim, be good friends with all her children, and have family movie night with your spouse and kids every Sunday. I can do that. Uh, athlete. So she started as team mascot. Oh, she did get an A in school because she started at level three in her career. That's good. She just needs some charisma. And she's uncomfortable for from cold food. Oh, I'm sorry. And no, you cannot put your plates everywhere. Slob sims are actually really frustrating. Uh, now let's go to a gym venue. Maybe she can meet someone there too, because she needs one more boyfriend before she can marry a neat sim. And I do have my eye on... He's a weird name. I don't know how to say it. Cristobal Garcia. I just call him Chris, <laughs> because that's a weird name. Um, that I don't... Well, it's not... It's not weird. I'm sure it's a nice name, but I just don't know how to say it. And we get to listen to beeping because uh, my game is freezing right now, which is really fun. But anyway, uh, I do want her to marry Chris if, if she, if he's old enough by then. I don't want to wait for him to age up. Um, one thing I do do sometimes is I make a birthday cake, invite the sim over, and get them to blow the candles out. That feels kind of cheaty to me though, so I don't know if I'll actually do that. Okay, so we're going to this gym. Um, see, that'd be a pretty easy thing to accomplish. All she has to do is work out, which won't take long. <laughs> um, and she, she's typically not going to work out at the gym because she's got enough at her house to keep her busy, so I'm really not that worried about it. She does need to work on her charisma, though, if she wants to get promoted as an athlete. I wish I had started that one earlier, though. I'm kind of regretting that. I should have done that. Okay. Oh, her brother is here. That's nice. Let's go work out next to him. Oh my god, don't put yourself out. She's gonna burst a vein in her temple. Um, <laughs> so she needs to push the limits for one hour while energized and own two pieces of workout equipment. Okay, so apparently we get absolutely no credit for the one piece that we already have. That's fun. Who's this? Antonella Puentes? Okay. Is this Vihan is like immortal. He has not he's not aging. Um a weak ass punch that was. There's an alien here, that's cool. Oh hello. Yes, hello. Oh wait, that's Kango. I think that's the guy I wanted her brother to go out with. That's just not gonna happen. Maybe he's here with Grayson, I don't know. Maybe things finally worked out between them. Uh, and then uh, he's here too. Um, you know what? He's got to stay in shape. He <laughs> he has a busy life. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to judge him. You know what? Nobody should be judged while they're at the gym. You know what? They're trying. And that's what matters. Okay, let's, uh, let's, talk, to, let's talk to Kengo. If her brother's not going to have him, then we are. Wait, who's this? Masato? Oh, he's buff. I mean, he's got the stupidest haircut I've ever seen, but that's okay. I'm all right with it. Let's go and introduce ourselves. Imagine telling people your name is Stormy. Like, yeah, that's <laughs> that's a little different. He might think she's kidding. Um, debate great game strategy. Compliment outfit. Get to know. I have to make sure she's single, though. I, I can't remember. She did break up with um, Jesse, right? Yeah, they're just friends. Okay, good. Daisy agent to an elder. Oh, that was fast. Knock knock joke. Uh, get to know. And enth enthused about new albums. Yeah, just just do it all. I'm good with it. And he's lazy. He doesn't look lazy. Uh, he's at the gym, and he looks pretty pretty fit. Tell a gross joke. He's romantic? Okay. I would like to know his other trait. Maybe he'll be, um, neat. Oh, he's not. He's a music lover. They have that in common, so that's that's good. Uh, let's get them to flirt, maybe. It is so unnerving. Well, then. That is just something you don't see every day. <laughs> An alien and Grim Reaper talking to each other at the gym. Oh, he's gone. He left. He struck out with the alien girl, so he's out of here. Flirt. Um, exchange numbers. Exchanging numbers with some guy you met at the gym. Is that not cliche? Uh, will he embrace? I doubt it. Nobody wants to embrace her. 
try. Just try. Oh, he did. Okay. <laughs> this is going really well. I like this guy. What else can we do? What else can we do with him? Uh, flirt with him? Yep, do that. Uh, hold hands. Maybe he'll become our boyfriend right now. It's a little forward, but I'm on board. Uh, compliment appearance. And first kiss. There it is. Things are moving pretty quickly between these two, but that's okay. And blow another kiss. Is she cheering her on or being weird? Please go away. And what are you wearing? Oh, you, by the way, I don't know if anyone's told you this, but you do have to wear a bra to the gym, just so you know, lady. And, and you? Don't walk away from me. I wasn't finished. Um, ask to be boyfriend. <laughs> so forward. They just met like three hours ago. Come back here. I'm looking for a boyfriend. And I want it to be you. I like this trick that you run ahead and cut them off. I'm, I'm a fan. Oh, he's into it. Uh, okay, everybody out here is just slaying the push-ups. I guess I didn't get the memo. Okay, so that's our third boyfriend. I, yes, it seemed very forward. Oh, serenade him. Yes, do that. That took no time at all. We came here in search of completing our aspiration, or a milestone in our aspiration, and she left with a boyfriend, so that's something. She's singing to him, that's so cute. Alright, you're embarrassing yourself, that's enough, go home. Yeah, that's, that's good. Um, maybe we'll keep this boyfriend for a little bit longer. I don't know how close Chris is to being a young adult. Uh, I'm just gonna repeatedly check on his status <laughs> until he's a young adult. I'm not in a big hurry for her to get married or anything, I guess. Well, maybe I am a little bit. She's doing pretty well with her skills. I'm just trying to time things perfectly for the next generation. Um, which is purple, by the way. Or plum, actually. Sorry, it's plum. Uh, and I'm so excited for that one because that's my favorite color. The names are tricky, though. Um, in the last time I did the Not So Very Challenge, she had two boys. And good luck finding a purple name for a boy. That was not easy. Um, I won't say what they are because I'll probably have to reuse them again, I'm thinking. Uh, Thunder... What are you barking at? Let's see if we get credit for that treadmill. Okay, we do. We just need one more piece of workout equipment. Do you think the yoga mat counts? <laughs> That's my question. I'm thinking no, but she can't really afford anything else. Uh, I'm just gonna... Oops, don't do that. Do they have a gray one? They have this one. That's good enough. Let's put it right there and see if that counts. It does count. Okay, good. I'm going to keep it, though, because I kind of like it. And um, go make some food. Mac and cheese. That works for me. Um, and then does she work tomorrow? Uh, yes, she does. She works at 2 p.m., and her daily task is 50% done. So that's good. What's he doing? Or she? She looks like a boy, kind of, so I just, I, I, free, I feel like she's a boy, but she's not. I know that she's not. Yes, yeah, so you get some of that. That's good. And then she has to work out a little bit. So, uh, I guess we could do a jog with Thunder. She looks pretty restless right now. Go for a jog. Um, also, I need to get her charisma up as well. Uh, she, oh, I guess she already has, oh, she must have got that when she was talking to that guy that's now her boyfriend. I forget his name. Masato? Masato? Good. Go for your jog. Have, have a nice time. Um, I'll be here admiring this house that I built. <laughs> I don't know why I like it so much. I just do. I'm glad that I get to... I never ever play in the houses that I build, so I'm glad that I get to play in this one. Usually I download a house off the gallery and then just furnish it, um, because furnishing is like my favorite thing to do in The Sims. Okay, so she's home. For the love of God, put that away. Oh yeah, she has these little, um, random items. I don't know where to put them. I really don't. Or can this, can this go in here? No. No. They can put the crystal thing there, and then the... Where do you put a jar of slugs? Like, what is the ideal placement for that? Because I'm struggling. Um, I think you can put things on this... Oh, I thought you could put things on the half wall. 
I don't think a jar of slugs belongs in the kitchen, but eh, there it is. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably end up moving it, but for now, it stays there. Um, also, I'm going to check on Chris's status. He's still a teen, so I'm, I'm good with that. I can live with that. And is she done working out? No, she's not. So I guess the jogging doesn't count as the daily task or whatever. So, yeah. It builds her fitness scale, but it doesn't count as working out, which is, which is weird, but whatever. And I'm hoping that she will now get to level 6 in the fitness skill. Good, she did. Okay. Um, and Stormy, I or Thunder, I feel like she's going to like the sunroom. I think, I think it's ideal. And uh, let's take a bath with... Is there any gray kind of soak? No. Muscle relaxing. That's what she needs. And I might consider hiring a maid for this house just because she is a slob. And it's going to drive me just totally crazy that she's going to leave the house a mess. And, um, like, she leaves her dishes everywhere. She leaves her clothes everywhere. It, it's very frustrating. You can, you can go to bed. You know that. There we go. Okay, good. So, yeah, tomorrow... Oh, I forgot to get a dog bed for her. Oh, she doesn't seem to mind. She's going to sleep in a pile of laundry. I'm actually going to go ahead and put that in there. There you go. There you go. Um, there's just no room for a bed in this room. Uh, I guess if it was a major priority, I would just take out the dresser and put a bed there, but the pet beds just never look good. I wish they had the ones like they had in The Sims 3 that were, like, actual beds, not just a piece of fabric on the ground. Most of them are like a quilt that you lay on the brown, on the, on the brown, on the ground. Um, some of them, they had like the wicker baskets and yeah, I just wish they had that. You get to do laundry even though I know you don't want to. She never did laundry when she was living with her mom because she hated it. But I don't care. You will do it. Oh, that's the problem. So the laundry basket can stay there. It's just that she can't get to it. And I really don't think that it's going to work if I put it here. I'm going to try it. Okay, it did work. Uh, now I don't know if the shower is going to work, but again, we'll find out. Uh, Daisy is congratulating her on her new boyfriend. That That's good, I guess. Um... I don't really care about much, like, not that I don't care about Daisy, um, I don't think she would really have a relationship with Daisy, but when it comes to her dad, there's no relationship at all. She's actually closer with her mom. That's interesting. I don't really know what to do because they're both old and I'm thinking like, should we, should we hang out with them before they die or would she just not really care that much? Um, with her dad, there's really no relationship there at all, uh, which is kind of sad because he doesn't deserve that. He was actually a good parent. But I, I completely destroyed their relationship. Uh, what can I get her to do? I'm just consistently wanting her to go out with that Chris guy. So let's give him a call. Go ahead and do that. And she needs to push the limits for one hour while energized. So if we get her to work out, I think that's, I think that's how you start that out. Uh, this, of course, we'll just put in your inventory. No problem. Don't even worry about it. Until she's energized. I don't know if she ever will be. She has fuzzy feelings from hugging dogs. Hugging pets is quite therapeutic. Maybe it's a face full of fur. Uh, Thunder definitely has a face full of fur. Are you not energized? Oh my god, she's like falling over. Grayson, do you want to meet up? No. I want to get energized. That's what I want. So I'm getting her to push the limits or whatever, but it's not getting her energized. What does it take to get energized? Maybe, oh, I think you have to have like a, um, I forget what it's called. A certain type of shower can do the trick, I've, I've heard. Um, let's go ahead and brush Thunder because she's probably, uh, intellectual discussion. You can do that with, um, smart dogs. And then we will feel the love. They have a very close relationship, and that, that makes me happy. I think there's even an option to become companions or something. But I think they already did that. And what else can we do? Give her a treat. Absolutely give her a treat. Good. 
Good, good. Okay. You're pretty much going to be going to work now. I really like, by the way, how the light shines through this door here. Um, I'm just obsessed with the lighting in this game. It's just perfect. I couldn't ask for anything better. Go down the steps. There you go. Now you can go to work. And we'll get her to work hard. I don't know if she automatically will. Yeah, she does. I'm not sure what the deciding factor for that is, by the way. I really have no idea. Um, oh, her boyfriend's calling. Well, you know, kind of be using that guy just to say we had a boyfriend. So I, I don't really care about him. Stormy hates waiting for others. We have that in common. We really do. Uh, so she works until 9 p.m., uh, which is good. I might even, I might age Chris up, because, I mean, I, I feel like we're just waiting for him at this point. I don't really care about that Masato guy, I just, I like Chris. He's the only neat sin that we've met. This is taking forever. But she's really close to a promotion, she will pro oh, she doesn't work tomorrow, but the next day she'll get that promotion, I think. Oh, or today, she's gonna get it today, that works for me, I like it. She won't have to wear the mascot outfit to work anymore. Oh, a kitty named Maggie. I like her, I think. I never know for sure. I have to get to know them a bit. But Oh, she's headed to bed. Yep, like her. We have a lot in common. Kate, you're gross. Um, Why are you wearing a cheerleading outfit? That's, that's not good. So she's a dance team captain. Uh, it's hard to take that career seriously, but I'll, I'll try. For sure I will. Milton. Oh, no, he's still still hung up, eh, Milton? That's not going to happen. I'm just, I just keep putting those in her inventory, and I'll just basically sell them later on. And uh, where's Thunder? Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, that's a perfect place for her to sleep. Okay, good. And I'll see if the shower works again. I really don't know. Nope. No dice on the shower. Um, what if I put the laundry hamper, like, here? I'm just <laughs> trying different things. That will either prevent the sink or the bathtub from being used. Um, we'll find out. Uh, she needs to have some fun. Let's invite Mas Mas Masato? Masato? Who knows? Let's invite him over. This is a booty call, for sure. Oh, your outfit. It's disgraceful. Brighten his day. Um, serenade. Can they woohoo yet? Oh, they can. Good. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought I clicked try for baby. I was like, please don't have that man's baby. I don't want that. All right. Well, come on in. I have, she's got plans for him. <laughs> just use this guy for whatever we need. Um, just to say we have a boyfriend and um, also for fun. And now we're going to go ahead and ask him to be just friends. <laughs> this is her move. She uh, messes around with them, or woohoos, and then she she breaks things off. Turn, turn this on. Yeah, she's like, they call it the Black Widow. <laughs> Hurry up and do this. Good, okay. That relationship is over, effectively. Now you can go to bed. Yeah, just use and abuse. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave this part right here. Um... I'm probably going to age up Chris um, off camera because I do want him to be her boyfriend. So we will explore that in the next episode. Thanks for watching.